all right? Just let it sit for a minute, let it coagulate, all right? We're not in any hurry now. Right, you see it's a huge ember, right? So from here, pick it up, put it into your bundle, like that. Here. Get your bundle together. Go ahead. Slow, easy breath, remember? Put the bundle up above your head because heat likes to rise. See how smoke's starting to come out of the back of the bundle now? That's the go sign. Good job, man. All right, so trash that set. right here at the intermediate class, day one, you got people working on bow drill kits out here. You got one guy just got his number. We got several people getting ready to burn him in. This guy just burned his in. He'll be going for it in a minute. We'll check back on him here pretty shortly. Got several guys out here working on bow drill sets, getting them ready to go. We're gonna spend about three hours working on bow drill technique, form, and sets today. They had a demonstration this morning, went out and collected material this morning, had a nav course this afternoon, and now they're working on bow drills for the next three hours. Yeah, yeah, but do it all I'm just showing you how that can work. Because here it's flat. Yeah. Here it's more straight up and down. Yeah. That's going to save you a lot of effort on your bearing block. Awesome. A little wobbly, yeah. You need more downward pressure, though. And also, something I noticed: use your your actual your body weight. You were you were trying to push it down with your wrist a little bit, okay? Which is why it's making it wobbly like that. Okay. Use your whole body weight and actually control it with your body weight. Have him get his boot closer to that spindle too. Yeah. That'll stabilize go. it better. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's that's all Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It was an SAK fault. Yeah. I don't want to mess this up. Nah, you're killing it, man. Don't worry about it. All right. That hardwood we got. And just go slow until you feel it getting married up. Push down with pressure on it until you feel friction. More downward pressure, man. Lean into it with your body weight and your shin. That sounds really good, man. You see all that dust that's falling down? Yeah. That's your that's your top block eating your freaking spindle alive, man. So that's a problem. That's oh, yeah. why you're jumping out. You're jumping out because of the top of that spindle. Okay. See the top of that? How that's yeah. wrecked? Okay. Let me see your bearing block for a minute. Also, your bearing block is way too hard. You're leaning for that thing. You're leaning too far forward. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just Take this bearing yeah, block. Yeah, you're in the bark right now. Really bad. Uh, Shave just a, a shaving <laughs> oh, off of yeah. that thing, so you got to flat there and go with nice. that. Okay. Oh man, while I'm over here bullshitting, you guys got a fire. Nice. Good job, buddy. Thank you, bro. Nice. Now we just got to reproduce it. You can do that. If you can do it once, you can do it twice. Amen to that. And if one of us can do it all, exactly. Hey, that's, that's so true. First one it gets, it sets the bar. You're ready. Rock yep. and roll. Toss her in here. <clears throat> Pinch it in there a little bit. Get it up. Yeah, there you go. That oh, arc almost immediately down. went up. <laughs> there you go. Boom. <laughs>
Good job, Roger. Thank you, bro. Smoking it, baby. Good job, Roger. It's great. Do I need to move? More downward pressure, Tanner. Just a tad. There you go. You start smoking as soon as you did that? Mm-hmm. So the trick, when it starts walking like that, it's, yeah. it's because your bow is doing this. If you keep it parallel to the ground, it'll stay. <laughs> Trying to let that bow walk up and down a little bit, keep it straight. All right. Looks good. A little more downward pressure, buddy. Not speed, downward pressure. There we go. That's telling me. Don't push the full weight of the bucket. Need more downward pressure. That thing's not smoking in seven strokes. You're not pushing down hard enough. You're, you, speed and pressure aren't the same thing, buddy. Slow back down, but push down. Now you're getting some smoke. That's good. Now you don't change anything once you start getting smoke. Now you're starting to get the right color stuff. Before it was real chunky. Keep her going. Come on. Ooh, you're right there, man. You were right there. You got it. Get that spindle straight up and down. Not as much downward pressure. Pull off there, you might have a tough one. Take your time. Don't let it fall out or talk over with your material. Shouldn't be gassing out if I'm not gassing out. Come on. Can you go for it? Not yet. You're really close, but not quite so good. Oh, if you got smoke coming out, good smoke coming out of the back side, go ahead. A little harder. Alright, now you're getting it. I'm squeeze that in a little bit. Up at the top there. Now blow it up. Now blow harder. You got good smoke coming out of the back. <coughs> More air. Oh, that's there you go. Swing's riding up. Come on. Get after it, buddy. There you go. There, there you go. Is, there, there it is. is. Turn it over. Turn. There you go. Nice. Good job, man. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> More smoke, more air. There it is. Now turn that Good job, buddy. over so the fire turns up. Nice. A little more. 
speed. <laughs> All right, so students are over in the wood line right now, getting a class on a tarp tent. They're going to sleep in for the night over here in the wood line. Bow drill practice for the last three hours, and we are at eight successes, I think, possibly nine out of 11. The rest of them will get it by tomorrow, I'm sure of that. No question about it. And be back over here in a few minutes to build pack frames tonight. 